This is a Von Gaughan Ultra Shear, and it's one of my favorite reverbs because it's more than just a reverb. It has two sections, the vibrato section where you can add modulation to the incoming signal, and the reverb, which is probably why you bought the pedal in the first place. But the really interesting thing about this pedal to me is the fact that you can quickly reorder the vibrato and the reverb with this switch, right? It's right here. In the up position, the more traditional vibrato into reverb is possible, but my personal favorite is to run the vibrato into the reverb like, <laughs> like that. While this video is not about the ultra shear, I am talking about something today that will allow us to do that very thing, reorder the signal chain with any pedals that we might already have. And the thing that will allow us to do that today is the new pedal from GFI, the Duop Honey. Now, while I thought that this pedal would help me recreate the great Duop hits of the 30s and 40s, I fall in love with you. It turns out it's something else entirely. I don't know why they called it that. But... So for today's experiment, I'll be running my Rhodes Mark I through the Duop Honey and using two other GFI pedals to create a signal chain that I can rearrange at will. On the X side, I'm going to have a Skylar Reverb and on the Y side, I'm going to have a Synesthesia. So I should be able to recreate some of the same kinds of effects that I can do with the Ultra Shear with even more flexibility with some pedals that I already have. You cannot, however, use it to recreate wooden casings, which make things sound better in my opinion. Before we do that, let's try something a bit more extreme and pair a sample and hold flanger in the Synesthesia with the Shimmer algorithm in Skylar which we can then reroute to be in series in either order or parallel without having to unplug a single cable. In this example, I'm using an expression pedal to adjust the mix of only the Skylar reverb. At any time, I can manually deactivate one of the effects. There's a built-in LFO that you can use to either pan your effect or adjust the volume. This is really handy if you aren't using a movement effect like the synesthesia and would like to introduce some tremolo or subtle panning. I had a little bit of trouble with the touch sliders. I think that's partially to blame on the angle at which I was having to sit in order to play the roads while also trying to control the pedal. But if you're going to be using this live to affect parameters, I would highly recommend using an expression pedal. Now I'm going to swap the order of the effects so that my reverb is running into my movement from the synesthesia. Thank you. 
For this example, I have switched back so that the synesthesia is running into the reverb. And now my expression pedal is set up to bring in the mix of my reverb. So putting all this together, I wanted to make a track with two layers of roads, both having the same effects pedals, but with different algorithms and in different orders. And this pedal makes that really easy. So that layer sounded like this. wondering what that awful hum is, you probably shouldn't set a power brick on top of a Rhodes with a bunch of passive pickups inside. For the second layer, I chose the Shimmer Reverb in Skylar and ran that through some even more degraded effects in the Synesthesia. They're a little bit choppier, a little bit less predictable, a little more lo-fi. And that layer sounded like this. together and we end up with something like this. As you may have noticed today, I'm more of a love the pedal you're with kind of guy. In other words, I choose from the group of pedals that I have and create a chain on the fly to experiment with a particular synth or my roads in this case. But if you have an inclination towards pedal boards, I think a real benefit of this pedal would be to set up two independent chains that you could rearrange at will. That could be really powerful and give you some flexibility in your pedal board that you might not otherwise have. I also prefer stereo effects because I'm a synth guy, but if you have a lot of mono effects, then the ability to add modulation to the levels and panning within the duophony 
uh, I'm sorry, uh, Duop Honey, is really powerful and a really nice feature to have. While it is a bit of a menu dive, once you learn your way around, it's not so bad, and the amount of flexibility that you gain with it is really, really powerful. If you want to learn more about these and how synthesizers work and the basics of subtractive synthesis in particular, you can sign up for my free synthesis workshop. It's outside of the YouTube algorithm where I can go a little bit deeper. It's absolutely free and it will be linked in the description below. If you like Duop, be sure to like the video. And uh, if you like learning about Duop, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know what a pipe organ sounds like running through a Skylar Reverb, you can click on this video right here. It is duophony, duophony, duphonium, osmos.